Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, we're going to sit back and relax and we're going to talk about all the worst beauty products of 2021. So if you guys want to see what those are, why I feel like they're the worst, well then definitely keep on watching. All right, guys, so yesterday I filmed a video where I talked about all the best makeup products of 2021. And now today we are going to talk about the worst products of 2021. And the only downside of this video is that a lot of products that I generally don't like tend to have been discarded or thrown away over the years. So there are things that I do have to show you. There are things I don't have to show you because there are things I just forget that I don't like and then I just threw them away. And I remember I did a big declutter series back in August. If you guys want to see that, I'll link it down up, down up here, down up, whatever <laughs> for you guys. But I had done a huge declutter. I got rid of a lot of things I didn't like. So unfortunately it makes videos like this kind of hard because I know longer have them but we're gonna do the best we can hopefully I remember all the products i dislike but we shall see if i miss anything i do apologize all right so one of the very first ones i want to talk about is like this makeup forever oil control primer that was shitty i tried it in a full face of first impressions it did not do anything to control the oil i did not like how it looked i spent a lot of money on that little teeny itty bitty tiny can primer sample size i spent like i think 17 to 20 dollars on it I absolutely hated it. I didn't like decluttering that product when I was done with it because I just was not a fan. It did not do a good job at controlling the oil. So that's something that I was not a fan of. Um, a, a primer that I forgot to mention because I don't have it written down was the Milani No Pore No More Mattifying Primer. Yeah, no. My pores were so visible when I wore that. I got super oily within like an hour putting that on. I tried it several times under like my ride or die foundations and it just, it was just not good. It was not good. It was very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. So it is what it is. I was also not a fan of the Marc Jacobs 2-in-1 foundation slash concealer. Man, that caffeine shot product was shitty. They really advertised the crap out of it. You never hear anyone talk about Marc Jacobs anymore, but they advertised the crap out of it. It looked like it was going to be such a cool revolutionary product and it just sucked. Every part of it sucked. I could not get over how bad that was. I did not like it. I did not like how my face looked when I reviewed it. And that product got discarded rather quickly because I was not a fan of that product. Another one that I was not a fan of was the Huda Beauty. This is the matte foundation. Um, I don't really know what this full foundation, um, fault, fault. False Filter Luminous Matte Full Coverage Foundation. I tried this out. I know this is not a new product, but I tried this out in a video. What was it? I already raved about Huda Beauty. And now I'm like, why? The product was just not good. I did not like it. It was luminous, but it was matte. It's good full coverage. It was great at full coverage, but it just did not do a good job at controlling the oil. I think if anything, it accentuated the oil. I was just I was not a fan of that foundation. Another foundation that I was absolutely not a fan of was the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Everybody was so obsessed with getting this. This sold out so quickly. Like this went viral super freaking quick. Uh, so many people out there loved it. I think people who had really dry skin or very normal to dry skin absolutely love this foundation. But anyone who is oily, this is not your friend. This will never in a million years be your friend. This made my skin look ungodly greasy and oily and it separated throughout the day. It rubbed off in half my face. It was just so freaking horrible. Now I did hit pan because there wasn't like too much in this product. Like it just doesn't have a lot to it surprisingly enough. So I hit pan rather quickly and I kept trying to get this product a try, kept trying to fall in love with it because so many people raved about it, but I just, I could not get into this foundation. I just thought it was pure shit. And um, I stand by everything that I still say in that review. Next we have the NARS. This is a soft matte complete foundation. I wanted to love this foundation so much, but one, the undertone on this was really off. It gave me really jaundice yellow undertone, surprisingly enough for being a neutral foundation. You think that it gave me the right undertone but it didn't it just made me look really sickly and at first it looked beautiful but throughout the day again it just started to separate and cake and it just did not do a great job at containing the oil and so many people raved about this foundation and i wanted to love it because some people say the the radiant foundation is absolutely incredible but this was just a product that did not work for me and no foundation really truly works for me i get oily in every single foundation i wear but it's when it separates that i 
that's where I draw the line because I'm just like, I can't save it if it separates. If it's just oily, I can save it. I can save it, but separating, I can't. And this separated and this was such a disappointment. I wanted to love this so much and I didn't. Same thing with my Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. Again, that was another one that just disappointed me. It did not do a good job at containing the oil. It separated throughout the day. It had a weird color to it. Did not color match properly and I just really wanted to love it and I could not get into it. I felt, I was so mad. I was deceived. <laughs> Last foundation we have is the a uh, physician formula. This is the organic wear silk foundation elixir with jojoba oil. I really wanted to love this foundation because it sounded pretty unique, but it was just horrible. Like it failed me horribly throughout the day. Beautiful coverage at first, but then it just did a horrible job at containing the oil. It separated on the face. It did not look good. So this is something that I'm definitely going to be discarding when I do my declutter videos. I will be decluttering this because it just it just didn't work like in the slightest. And so I'm actually really disappointed in that. Another fail was Undone Beauty. I tried Undone Beauty this year. I did a full face where I tried out all their stuff. The only thing I have left from Undone Beauty is their lip gloss right here. This is actually a really good lip gloss. It smells like watermelon. It's like eight bucks. It does a great job at like hydrating the lips. It has a high shine to it thoroughly do enjoy it i keep it here on my desk because i love the smell of it and i love just wearing it when i'm not having any, anything on my lips but the whole brand itself was just really really disappointing i didn't like the concealer the foundation the setting powder the bronzer i didn't like anything from that line and i do not have anything from them at this point i decluttered almost everything that i bought besides the lip gloss i really wanted to love it because it sounded so unique it's a very clean formula that you guys can find at target super affordable but the products were just shitty i could not get into them i really wanted to i tried but i was so disappointed <laughs> next we have the tatcha silk powder i wanted to love this powder so so much because it's tatcha she makes some really really great like products like i love my water cream moisturizer so damn much but this silk powder was just horrible first off the application on it like what was that like i had a little circle thing in the middle that made it hard to get the product out and it just did nothing for the face like absolutely nothing it made my face look cakey but greasy and oily at the same time it broke apart my foundation it just was overall horrible setting powder i tried it once and i got rid of it because i just could not get into it and then i saw several reviews of people saying the exact same thing as me that they could not get into that powder at all so i was like thank god i am not alone because because it was just, it was a moment. <laughs> it was, it was just not good. Another setting powder that I didn't find good was the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the under eye powders. I bought two of them and I don't use them. I tried them out several times and I just cannot get into them. For some reason, they just get like really flaky underneath the eye. And when I put setting powder on top of this, it just does not mix. Like it does just not mix in the slightest. These are supposed to be similar to her like luminous, um, luminous highlighters. The luminous highlighters are amazing. I freaking love it. But using this as an under eye powder, it just... I don't know it just made it like shiny and luminous and it just wasn't good i tried these like i said several times and i just can't either seem to find the right shade or find a way to make these work and there's so many people out there who've made these work and i'm so jealous because i wish i could have but i i just i couldn't same thing with like her under eye primer like that rolling eye primer i honest to god have no clue where mine's at I have no clue where mine is at at all. It just disappeared on me. I tried it again. It just was weird. It's like putting this weird gel underneath your eye and then trying to put concealer underneath that. It just did not mix in the slightest. I think she loved it, which is great because she made it work for her, but I could not make that work for me in, in the slightest. I, that whole time I tried out all like the Jaclyn Cosmetics face products. The only thing I generally liked was the Face It Bright under eye palette. Everything else I did not like. Like her uh, translucent setting powder right here, I freaking hated it. I absolutely hated it. It has a luminous base to it and there's nothing wrong if, if it being luminous but for someone who's really oily like myself i do not want a luminous setting powder because i get so freaking oily i want to do everything i can to try to mattify my face because i will get really oily so having a microfine like glitter in here to help accentuate the oil just was not good it just made my face look like I was Edward Collins trying to walk out the set of Twilight. Like it just, it wasn't good. And there's somebody out there who love it and I'm jealous because I wish I could, but this was the one launch of hers that almost every product in that video, I, I hated. <laughs> I hated. Another product of hers that I hated was the 
primer right here. This is the oil primer and she absolutely loved this primer. Now I already knew the second I bought this, I was not going to be a fan because it is an oil primer. I'm very oily. Now this is something that I would put on my face at the very end of the night. I do put on face oil when I go to bed to help, you know, make my face as hydrated as possible. But putting this under makeup, man, it is like putting grease under my skin. Like I'm already getting oily right now. It is what it is. I've been filming now for two hours. I'm going to get oily, but I'm not, but this is how my face will look like with this on when I first apply it. This is just after like two hours. This would be when I first apply it. It was horrible. I did not like it. I talked about this in the products that I'm so mad that I bought. And this was one of them. I just, it just sits here and it's just going to sit there. It, eventually it will be decluttered, but that was just a product that I just could not get into. And I hope one day she does create products that are geared more towards oily skin or comes out with both. That way both parties can participate because I just, a lot of her face complexions, I really can't get into because the fact that they're more for dewy and luminous skin when I have very oily skin. So it just wouldn't work. Next, we do have the ABH Iced Out Highlighter. Uh, I decluttered, I actually, did, I don't think I decluttered it. I think I got, I think I like put it in a mystery box for a subscriber. I tried it one time and I just could not get into it. It has like a green undertone to it. And I love the texture of it. I thought that it was so unique, but it just didn't look right on my skin tone. It just looked really weird. Kind of made me look like I had like a green highlight on, which is great if I want to put on an eye, but using it as a highlight, I just wasn't a fan of it like at all. I remember I tried that and I also tried the ABH Brow Freeze. This sold out like crazy. Everybody was so obsessed with this, but this made me look like I had werewolf eyebrows. Like my eyebrows stood up. I could not get it to work. It made them rock hard and it just looked like I was in a pe perpetual state of shock. Like the whole time my eyebrows were just like this and I was just, <laughs> I look like Mr. Bean. <laughs> I just could not get into this. I wish I could have. Everybody was so obsessed with this, but this kind of turned me off to brow freezes until I tried out Ofer Cosmetics and I was like, okay, this is a lot better. But this one right here and the Iced Out one was just not a good combination. I just, I did not have luck in that video. I'm kind of going all over the place. I'm sorry. All right, another product that I really couldn't stand was the Jaclyn Cosmetics Face face palette right here. Now this was her highlighter palette for the holiday launch. And I just thought this palette was so ugly and I did not like the formula. It was like almost like a cream to powder formula, but it just had no vibrancy to it whatsoever. It just was very dull. It didn't look great on the skin whatsoever. It just looks very boring. And it's, it's, it's weird because like I love her other highlighter formulas, but I could not get into this at all. I just was not a fan of it. It blends out when you go to like blend it out and it just like disappears. Like, look at that just disappears. And it may, doesn't even make my skin look sheen. It just disappears overall. So this is a product that I feel like was definitely hyped up. But then when I actually tried it myself, I was like, you know, it's really, it's really not that good, <laughs> but it's crazy. Cause I do love like her iced out highlighters. Like I love all her other highlighters. Um, even like her liquid highlighter, I was actually really impressed with. I think it's really beautiful, especially like during like the summer season, put it right here in your chest. But that was one that I was just like, what happened? Not a fan. So next I want to talk about the Dominique cosmetics. This was like the never give up palette. This was so expensive for what it is it's beautiful but i think this is like over 30 dollars for the small ass palette with the pressed glitter that doesn't even freaking work it just disappears the second you touch it i found myself wasting my money getting this and same thing with like her lip glosses i do love her eyeshadow formula but her lip glosses which i don't even have anymore because i got rid of are so sticky they're so sticky and i cannot stand a lip gloss that is super sticky and unfortunately dominique cosmetics just has a very sticky base to it my hair gets stuck to it then it slides onto my makeup and then it just messes it all up just not a fan of her formula when it comes to lip glosses but this palette right here i tried it the one time and i just wasn't that impressed at all and the pressed glitter was really shitty i just really wish brands would get away from pressed glitter like move on from it this could have been the most beautiful shimmer but i think it definitely got ruined with that um two other palettes that i was not a fan of was the ColourPop lunar collection i don't know i just found these palettes i, I love having the actual palette itself because i could take these away and make my own but i just was not impressed with this collection at all it's a cool concept but i don't know 
it was not my favorite from ColourPop at all. I definitely only tried it the one time and I was kind of bored by it. And I definitely probably won't be using these at all. I'll probably end up getting rid of the actual shimmers on the inside and replacing with my own shadows because ColourPop does sell empty magnetic cartons and you can build your own palette. But I think what I'll do instead, since I have this, is just build my own and then just get rid of these and build my own perfect palette. Another one I was not impressed with was the Limoncello one. Very beautiful, but I... I feel like it was overhyped for what it was. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, I wanted to love it. It also came with like these crown sticks or like eyeshadow sticks. Yeah, not a fan of those. But this palette, as much as I wanted to love it, just, I don't know. I wanted more than what it gave. I wasn't a fan. Another one that really disappointed me was the Makeup and Runner Burner Phone. Now in this video, I talked about this palette right here. So this palette, when I opened it, had a really bad smell to it. The smell is not as strong, but it still smells like cat piss. I don't know what happened, but in that video, I talked about how bad that smelled like cat piss, like truly smelled like cat piss. And when you open the palette up, even these don't have the perfect smell to it. Now, what was really nice was that the company was really sweet. They, they, I reached out to them. I let them know that my stuff smelled like cat piss and they tried to tell me that it was spray paint. I have two cats. I know what freaking cat piss smells like. And that freaking smelled like cat piss so they sent me out a brand new palette i ended up just going ahead and giving that to my friend mikey because i didn't want to have the brand new palette because i already had this one and when he got that one he opened it up and said that one smelled like cat piss as well and it still had a cat piss smell to it i don't know why i don't know what happened but this whole thing like turned me off for how bad the palette smelled because it made me think that there was something wrong with it but it just generally has a really bad cat piss smell and they try to say it was something else but I'm like mm, I think I know what cat piss smells like so that was definitely a turn off for me that was something I was not expecting another product that I absolutely absolutely hated was my Danessa Merrick's multi-chrome flakes right here guys I had talked about this several times now I wanted to love this so much because everybody raved about how amazing these were these went viral on TikTok they're put in trend mood boxes and I just I could not get into them. There was one in particular that I don't even wanna open at this point that literally is just pure freaking like liquid. Yeah, it's like this one. It is just, I can't even show you guys cause it's gonna spill out, but it's just pure liquid and it's supposed to be more solid it, like flakes, but I could not make these work. I have shaken them up. I've tried them several times. I've had people send me TikToks where people are taking these and putting them on their lips to make like a really beautiful like chromed out lip which is great, but these were supposed to be so easy and effortless to use, like one swipe, at least that's what the influencers on TikTok are showing me that these are so easy. I struggled with these. Now there's some of you guys that said maybe I blinked too quickly. I didn't let it dry down too fast. Guys, I literally let it try to dry down. I tried it several times and I just, I could not get into it. I found it to be rather difficult to work with. I spent over $250 on these products and they just don't work. They just don't work. I don't know if I'm I'm using it wrong or what, but it was so, so nice seeing you guys in my comment section said so many of you guys have tried this as well and it flaked away on you guys. It peeled off on you guys. It just did not work for you guys. So it was very disappointing because this was so hyped up to be such an amazing product. And I was just like, this is shitty. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? This was pure shit. And it was, and I'm mad that I have them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm probably gonna discard them at some point. I'll probably end up decluttering them because I really wanted to love these. And these are one thing that I was like really hyped up about because of TikTok and it just completely like left, like let me down. And I just, man, I could not get over that. That was so disappointing. Another product that TikTok hyped was the Mad Love Brows. These were so horrible and so many people freaking love this. And I really wish I could, I just, could not get into it. Like they have the different stamps that you put or the stencils you put on your eyebrow and then you just like take this and you stamp it on. Guys, every time I try, I cannot get it to work. I think maybe because my eyebrows are too long or they're too thick or they're too what, but these little stencils don't fully fit my eye. I cannot get it to look beautiful. It just, I stare at everybody who's able to make these work and I'm just like, I'm so envious because I wish I can get mine to work, but I could not get it to work. And this went so viral on TikTok. It was on back order. I had to wait almost two months to get this. And when I finally got it, I was like, that's what I waited for. Like, that's what I waited for. 
that was shitty. It sucked. It was a waste of money, but at least I only spent like $39 compared to like $250 that TikTok got me to spend. I don't have any blushes or like more highlighters or bronzers to really talk about. I tend to end up, like I said, discarding products throughout the year that I don't end up liking. Um, I'm still not really good about returning them, but I did it, like I said, I did a huge declutter and back in August, I got rid of a lot of products. So if I'm missing anything in this video, I do apologize, but these are still what I have on hand that I looked at my collection and I was like, oh yeah. And I want to make sure I talked about products that I reviewed in 2021. Um, a lot of stuff I reviewed, I actually generally really did like, but there are definitely some misses in here that I was just not a fan of, or there are products I tried that were released prior to this year. So that is pretty much what I have for the worst products of 2021. If I'm missing anything, I do apologize. I'll put it in a pinned comment if I'm missing anything, but, um, these videos are always so much fun to film. If these products worked for you, that is amazing and I am jealous and envious, but if they didn't, I'm so sorry to hear that, but these videos are always just meant in good fun. So if you guys liked today's video, please make sure you guys have a happy and safe new year. I cannot believe today is New Year's Eve and then tomorrow is New Year's, like New Year's Day. Like that is just insane that we just went through a whole year together. I cannot believe that. You guys have truly made this the best year of my entire life. I can never, ever say thank you guys enough for allowing me to live my dream. You guys are truly the most kick-ass subscribers ever. I cannot wait to see what 2022 has in, has in store for us. Hopefully we hit 40,000 before the end of 2022. That is a huge goal of mine. Maybe 50,000. That'd be so freaking, freaking cool. But, um, just thank you guys for making this year so amazing. So that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every single day in the month of Vlogmas. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And a huge, huge thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful patron members that you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. I would not be here with without you guys. You guys are truly allowing me to live my dream. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for everything you guys have ever done. Whether you guys have liked this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, just thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, happy New Year's Eve, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye! why they are that why i think that all right guys so yesterday and hopefully i remember all the products hopefully you guys liked this video for t i hope you guys liked today's video i hope you guys i hope you